You are listening to Single Smart Female, Romantic Fairy Godmama Edition. This episode was brought to you by the Secret Society of Adored Women. Have you been tirelessly going on craptastic dates, having craptastic results with men, even spending a craptastic amount of time weeding through meh guys and fretting over the one who won't call you back or commit? Join us for our hush hush group of like minded, successful, badass single women from around the world turning the dating scene on its head and creating scandalously magical romantic experiences that you will cherish forevermore. But beware, your love life and life will never be the same again. Meet us over at the Secret Society of Adored Women.com. Buenos dias or buenas noches. <laughs> <laughs> My single smart females. I love you, but your Spanish frightens me. So what? <laughs> I'm going to get there. <laughs> I do want to learn Spanish. I'm going to. I am. I know a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> Un poquito. It, what's really funny is if you go to, okay, so a lot of the English vacation in Spain Mm. And a lot of Americans vacation in Mexico, Mexico, right? I don't know why I brought that part up. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why. I'll be going there soon. Okay, sweet. It's so funny. I live several, several years in Mexico, but if you ask a Mexican person if they speak English, they say a little bit and they usually speak a good 50 to 75 percent. You ask an American if they speak a little bit or if they speak whatchamacallit Spanish Mm -hmm. and they say a little bit because they know the word cerveza and hola (laughs) or el baño donde esta el baño yeah (laughs) (laughs) oh that's funny I know more than that Duolingo told me I know 300 and some words (laughs) congratulations (laughs) you know I we a little bit (laughs) oh we I'm not speaking French right now Jen anyway (laughs) funny funny (laughs) okay we have a topic do you want yes. to talk about it? Yeah, it's it's a really important topic. A super good topic. Something that I shifted a while back, and it is a fantastic... It's life-changing. Life-changing for sure. Yeah. It is the power of appreciating men. Woo! <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, so, we've talked before about women who have the tendency to man bash and to believe that men are only looking for sex or trophy wives or these things, or whatever thing. it's the, all be. these derogatory things in right. reference to women. Right. I really want to encourage and reach out to those ladies and then everyone else who doesn't do the man bashing to know just how powerful it is to appreciate men. Men thrive in our appreciation. Mm-hmm. Jenna said that for years and years. Mm-hmm. And when she first told me that, I was like, oh, Okay. I don't know if I really believed you or not. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know, but it's true. You've seen ev- so much evidence of so it. So much evidence of it. Yes. Even the smallest thing like thank you. Thank you is huge. They don't get it as much as we think they do. And it's, it's so easy for us to give and it gives them permission to keep stepping up for us. Absolutely. It's encouraging to them. It, it's a feel good moment and men want to step into feel good moments yeah what we're really neglecting as women because we we have all this these uh preconceived notions about men and we're interacting in a way that that um doesn't give men an opportunity to win with us we think we are but we're not but men really want to make us happy they can't make us happy that's a really key point we can only make us happy but we can give them opportunities to step up for us and and what we can do to reciprocate is appreciation just appreciation so let's say you go on a first date and a guy, a guy decides to pay for you. The only thing you owe him at that point is genuine appreciation. Now, a lot, and a lot of women are like, well, what if he freaks out? What if guys expect sex? And yeah, you'll have some of those. But most men, most great men, that's, that's what they're looking for. That's because it makes I, them feel like they're contributing to your happiness. And that lights them up on a very primal level. Yeah, I feel like that's few and far between that you'll find those, those guys who will have that expectation of you. And when you go into a date, don't even put that on yourself. Like, oh, is he going to expect that? Don't even have that thought in your mind. So, um, but. Well, the, you don't, well, you may have the thought. Okay. What I want you ladies to really do is if you focus on practicing this appreciation, you can start really small with just the people, your, your, your male coworkers, the men in your family, 
things like that um, to practice and start seeing how they respond to it. They, a lot of them don't ever get a thank you from a wife or a coworker, all those kind of things. And just see, start experimenting and see what happens. We want to put men into this just category that they're all horrible. But the truth is, is that we all have two sides to us. We all have a dark and light side. So yeah, men have historically engaged in some really dark places, but there's still a light side to them that we can engage and basically seduce out of them. And when I say seduce, I don't mean seduce seduction as in sexual. I am strictly talking through our appreciation. It's really, truly incredible that when you start focusing on appreciating men, how men will step up for you. And then what happens? That shit, really good shit, goes into your love life. And then men start stepping up for you in other ways that you haven't imagined because that's what happens, especially in the secret society of adored women when we work with women is we show them how to keep tapping into that and take that in even further and to see in a good way what they can get away with with men because men are so receptive to this. Right. And one thing I've practiced on dates, Jen, is not only showing the appreciation for like, oh, oh you paid for my dinner. Or, Thank you. I appreciate your the dinner. But I'll even go as far as to say, I appreciate that you care so much for your family. Mm-hmm. Like, not make it genuine though don't you know uh, yeah, absolutely don't, don't no fish way with, but I, I know you're very genuine but I just yeah. want to make it I want to make it very clear that I want women to practice this but only do it when you genuinely feel that way agreed yes definitely do that but you know there's lots of facets of a man that you can find endearing or uh, something that's great about them and another thing that you can do it doesn't even have to be exactly towards a man but I have found a group of friends and I, we have a group text message and we spent a few weeks, well, maybe even a month daily sending messages to each other of things that we appreciate about the men in our life. Many of these men weren't even men that we were dating, but just men around us. I remember saying, I appreciate my realtor is so willing to answer all of my questions. I wanted to draw more goodness from men in. So I focused more on what I appreciated about men. Mm -hmm. And this is a really big reason why men are so drawn to you, Jen. Yep. And and in a good way, and why they're willing. I was listening to Jen the other day. She had several, she was in the middle of uh, doing a project, a project with a vehicle, and she had all these men wanting to step up for her and help her and do things for her so that to make this process easier. Because, you know, they they felt like they knew quite a bit. Not that Jen doesn't know a lot, but they just they want to make sure that she gets everything she wants and she needs. Yeah. And they're not romantic partners. Nope. Not at all. So this but imagine how this works in the romantic realm as well. It's incredibly powerful. And it's something I need to encourage you, ladies. Plus, you're actually going to start seeing how incredible men are. So start start with some of your family members that you you don't have a severe hate for right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hopeful for you that you don't have a severe hate for your family member, but anyway. <laughs> well, okay, let's let's take it just a little bit further because both you and I have some um family members that we've male family members that weren't always extremely nice to to us. I won't speak right. for you, but I will say um you know, that was my father. And uh I can't say right at this point that my, that my relationship with my father is amazing, but I do take it on my own terms. I do show him appreciation and I, I got really grateful for some of the things that he has done for me because there are several things that he has done for me yes. in my life that not all fathers do for their daughters. And so it's, I have to recognize, I think if you're willing to recognize the negative, you need to be willing to recognize the positive and also realize that everybody is operating from from the best that they, that they they can do. Yeah, that they can do in that moment. For the most part. And you know I've said that's not everybody, but that's I believe for I, a good majority, majority of people. So just being able to acknowledge that and understand that even if you don't have great feelings to, towards somebody, it's still okay to recognize pieces of their goodness because it helps you practice in other in other parts of your life. Because the truth is, like I mentioned at the beginning of this, we all have light and dark. I have some really fucking dark moments. <laughs> I could tell you ladies things and I know you've heard me a little here and there, but I can get oh darker. Oh my God. <laughs> the, the, the darkness. You're still is, cute when you're dark. Oh, Jen. I am. I've got an inner bitch that would probably rival any inner bitch out there. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're funny. Yeah. I don't. No. I know. You're just all light and sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and shit. And it drives yes. me nuts. And I love it all at the same time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm irresistible to you. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> exactly. But again, ladies, try it. Practice it. Baby step into it. It will be a very key factor in helping you create a different relationship with men that will benefit you for the rest of your life. Okay, lover girl, it's time for the final thought on today's show. Appreciation unlocks the best part of men. Feel free to use this magic anywhere you see fit. Thank you, lover girl, for joining us on this Romantic Fairy Godmama edition of Single Smart Female. Don't forget to text this episode to all of your single smart girlfriends, as well as visit us at singlesmartfemale.com. We'll talk to you next time. And here's to you having everything you want in life and love. This episode was brought to you by the Secret Society of Adored Women. Have you been tirelessly going on craptastic dates, having craptastic results with men, even spending a craptastic amount of time weeding through meh guys and fretting over the one who won't call you back or commit? Join us for our hush hush group of like-minded, successful, badass single women from around the world turning the dating scene on its head and creating scandalously magical romantic experiences that you will cherish forevermore. But beware, your love life and life will never be the same again. Meet us over at thesecretsocietyofadoredwomen.com.